Hello, my name is Frank Jernigan, and I'd like to tell you about the crochet cast-on. This is the cast-on I recommend for my sweaters that you can get, get patterns for at franco.com. That's my website, p-h-r-a-n-c-k-o.com. At the website, you can generate custom fit patterns for plain sweaters and then augment them however you like. The sweaters that the patterns uh, create always use a uh, crochet cast on under the arm so that there is no seam at all. Um, there's no indication of binding, binding off and then picking up stitches under the, under the arm either. It looks like a continuous stream of stitches when you're done from the arm to the body. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do the crochet cast on first and then I'll show you how to pick up the stitches that have been cast on to knit in the other direction because it is a provisional cast on. Okay, I knitted these two swatches just to simulate what you now have on your needles after you have removed all of the stitches for one sleeve and placed those stitches on a waist yarn. Then on the needles, you've got the working yarn on the right needle, right there. That's the one that you were knitting with. This was the last time around before you removed all the stitches. So we want to connect these two sides, but we want to cast on stitches in between. We cast those stitches on using a crochet cast on on the left needle. So we start by creating a few chain stitches using the crochet hook. Start with a, a loop knot, put that on. Don't tighten, just keep it loose. Do a couple of stitches. And now we'll start doing a cast on. So we pick up our left needle again. We hold the two parallel to each other. That's different than you might see in some videos where they hold them crossed for some reason, but I find it easier to do it just keeping them parallel. And then it's very much like just doing a chain stitch, except there's a knitting needle in the way. So you go around it. So you go around both of them like that and holding the chain in your left hand, you then pull the thread through the loop that's on the crochet hook. Put this yarn around both of them again, pull it through again. That's two stitches cast on to the left needle. Here's a third one and a fourth one. It's easy if you just keep the loop, the loop on the crochet hook loose. It gets hard if that gets tight. So don't pull it tight. So here's five. Let's call that good. One, two, three, four, five on the left needle. Now I'm going to knit just a few more stitches, making sure I don't pull those stitches off of the needle like I did just a few minutes ago. So I had to start over. And so you add more stitches to the end of the chain. If you add more than you put on at the start, then you can tell which end to start unraveling from later when you're ready to remove this yarn from the, from the work. So the last one, I'll just pull longer. Cut it and pull the working yarn out. Now I have five stitches on my left needle. I turn it around, get ready to knit, pick up the right needle with the working yarn for my sweater. And then I knit those stitches. Knit right across them. And then just 
just keep knitting onto the other side of your, your work. Connecting the front to the back again, but now you've got stitches under the arm. Those will become your underarm stitches when you start knitting the sleeve later. There you have it. That's the crochet cast on. You can see that it's now a complete row across. Next time you just keep knitting across and around and you're completely in the round for the rest of the sweater's body. So I hope this helps. So that's how to do the cast on using a crochet hook so that you can then knit provisionally in the opposite direction after you're done with the body. Now I'll show you uh, how to pick up those stitches that you cast it on to go in the other direction down the sleeve. I've worked my swatch a little bit farther and uh, you'll see that I've bound it off. And so we have something that approximates the underarm section of the pattern. So let me show you how to pick up those stitches. This uh, represents the underarm of the sleeve after you have finished the body. It's just a swatch I made to illustrate this. And these are the stitches we casted on using the crocheted provisional cast on. We cast on five stitches. And if you look closely, we knit it in this direction. And so the stitches that we cast on were this one, two, let me point at him with the needle. One, two, three, four, five. But if you notice, when we go in the other direction, we're going to pick up loops between the stitches. This one here is between this stitch and this stitch. This loop here is between this stitch and this stitch. And so we got there, there are not just five loops because there's one loop after the last stitch here and one, one loop before the first stitch. This stitch here is the first stitch we picked up and there's this loop. So, that explains why when we pick up stitches from the provisional cast on, we actually pick up one more than we cast on in the beginning. In order to pick up those stitches, we begin by starting to unravel the chained cast on. And as you see, I knitted I mean, I chained more stitches at the end of the chain, and that's the end that I will uh, unravel the stitches from. So I will start by pulling that thread back through, if I can find it. There we go. And now if you pull that thread, of course, the chain just pulls loose until you get to the first stitch that first stitch goes through the loop that is on the other side, on, on one side of the first stitch that we cast on. So I'm going to put the needle through where that thread is going through, and then I'm going to pull the thread through and releasing it from the hole, just from that side. Now, as I, un, as I pull each stitch out, it's going to free up one more loop. So I'm about to pull this stitch out. I want to put that loop on the needle first. Just like this. Then I can pull that stitch out. And then I go to the next stitch. There's the loop I'm gonna pull out. I pull it and the string on the other side of that loop, put the needle through the loop, 
put it on the needle, and then pull the stitch out. That's two. Only it's three because I started with the original side, but I pulled out two stitches after I got it started. Here's the third one I'm pulling out, and here's the fourth one I'm pulling out, if I can get it. It's a little hard to see through the camera as I'm videoing. There we go. I'll pull that one out. And then I just have this one left, which I will put on the needle. And then pull the yarn through. And that's how I pick up the stitches from the provisional cast on that was crocheted onto the needles. The next step in the pattern is to pull the, the stitches off, put half of them on another needle, turn the work around and begin knitting in this direction. And when we get to the edge, we pick up that stitch together with the first stitch on the waist yarn from the sleeve and knit them together to close up the hole there. We knit all the way around the sleeve, come in this side on the sleeve, and then knit the final stitch of the sleeve together with this one um, to close up the hole on that side, and then continue knitting in the round for the sleeve. So that's how you both cast on and pick up stitches from the crocheted cast on under, under the arm of a provisional cast on for Franco's set-in sleeves.